hi everyone welcome back to my channel Khaja cooks and today i will be making for you the long awaited fish frikadel and what i have here is some water and my fish in a colander i'm using um stockfish and i'm just gonna steam this okay it's been about 10 minutes and once you see your fish has turned a nice um pale white color oh yellow sorry the steam <laughs> and then you switch off and let it cool down okay so the my fish have cooled off nicely as you can see and i'm just flaking it and taking it off the bone and the sides before i steamed it ne? I cut off the sides where those bones were and it made it much easier. See ya. And now this is all. And I just flick it like this. And make sure all the bones is out me. Okay, I'm ready to start my frikadel. So here I've got my ingredients that's gonna flavor this hake or this um, stockfish, I mean. I've got a half an onion that I've chopped up finely. I've got one chili that I've also chopped up. But this is optional if you don't want that heat, it's fine. And here yeah, I've got like a handful of parsley that I've also chopped up finely. And this is one of the main ingredients in here. This is my salt and pepper. There we go. This is three cloves of garlic that I've peeled and grated. And my one egg. And here I've got a tablespoon of oil, and here's my two slices of bread, and my milk. So I'm just going to eyeball this. This is like a half a cup of milk. I'm just going to drizzle it on here and let it just soak. Okay. okay. Until it's liquor worked through, drenched in the milk. Yeah. Oh, wait. Now I'm just going to do this. Ne? break it up in little pieces and that's my bread done and now we are just going to assemble you see there okay okay just get a spoon so in goes my Stockfish. Put some of this in the zinc. My onion. Chili. My parsley. Chopped up parsley. Look at that colors. Mm -hmm. My garlic and I'm using a lot because you want to taste that garlic and that parsley in it and that is how my mom taught us so that's how I make it my egg and a little salt to taste and what I do me I fry one first then I taste it or oh, is there enough so I'll rather throw in less than more and if I say okay it needs a little bit more I add in more me and I've thrown in too much salt before, yeah. And then I just added more bread to just, you know, balance it out. And here I've got some pepper also to taste. And now we are just going to give it a mix. Okay. And this all here is also just to help um, bind it better. Eh? So I'm just going to drizzle a little bit in here. It's like a half a tablespoon and I'm going to bind it, get it together. Look at that colour. Mm. And if you see, okay, is this the texture that I like? Great. 
and if you feel you need more bread you add maybe another slice with it me but we're first going to see how this works out okay i like this texture of my fricadelle and now i'm just going to take the size that you want it to be in there. I like it, this kind of size. And I'm going to fry this one first and then I'm going to taste it. Yes. <laughs> and see if it's the flavor that I want. If not, if it needs a little bit of this and that, now is the time to then add it. Okay. Okay, there my tester is frying. <laughs> I'll we'll be tasting it quick, quick and then I'll fry the rest. Okay, I like that, but I just added a teeny little bit more of salt, and now I'm happy. And um, have a look. And we like to have this just so on bread with butter and a cup of tea sweet tea and guys just before just another thing that i need to tell you make sure you take out all the bones if you're not a fan of this kind of fish you take other fish that you like you know it doesn't have bones that you have to worry about but i take my time in the just checking if there's extra bones in here And that's going to fry until it's golden brown on both sides. Okay, so this has been going for two minutes. And I'm just going to give it a check for color. Yes, that's the color that I want. Mm -hmm. That sound, oh, I just love it. <laughs> and this, this piccadilla was one of my mom's favorite dishes to make and to eat. And I can, yes, I can say mine as well. I just love it. Let's see how this color looks. Mm, golden brown. And then you just fry the rest of the piccadilla. And that's the last few that I fry now. Can you see that color? So it will be nice and crispy outside and soft inside. Oh, it can be welcome to take it. Okay, guys, I'm going to put this on my bread now and a cup of tea and I'm going to enjoy it so much and definitely going to reminisce and think of my late mom. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>